Hi, and welcome to the Media Portal Television Freeview HD section. Here, I, I must stress you just before we begin this demonstration is uh, this is using some rather obscure capture software, and therefore I do apologise about the jumpiness. And you won't really be able to tell the pristine nature of this simply because it is a YouTube video. But I think just a bit of an imagination, and uh, my word for it shall be well enough. Here, right here, we've just entered the EPG guide section. Now, this is where you can schedule your shows for seven days ahead of time, or well, pretty much infinitely, if it's a, if it's something like Family Guy or the news. It will just once you've put it in, it will just continue recording it every day, in and out, and until it, you either tell it to stop or whatever. Now, as you can see, while flipping through these um, channels, and we've got all the icons there listed, you can actually see information about each show. Yeah, I've just selected Family Guy. Look, I want to record Family Guy. Now, other things worth noting in the system, as well as EPG, you have this, this, this scheduler which allows you to alter any, any information that you put in. I'll tell you something, though. There's nothing like the ability to be able to pause live television. Now, the system allows you to literally pause up to, you know, for an hour or two. And therefore, theoretically, theoretically you could just kind of jump through any adverts you know, if you keep yourself a few hours behind from actual television, I mean, it is that easy. Also, rewinding allows you to be rewind, rewind, as I just said, up to, you know, an indefinite period of time, depending on how you set up the system. Uh, the convenience of just being able to bugger off somewhere for a while and go back to your show, if you just didn't quite hear something the way you thought you heard it, you can just verify it. Uh, from here, we've gone into full screen. And from full screen, you can pretty much do everything that you can do out of full screen. You can bring up information by pressing the I button. It shows you what's coming up. You can also go to aspect ratios and audio and program info and, you know, record now. All those basic functionalities. Ah, what do you know? We've got a free view ad here. Bit of irony there. It also shows you how long the show's got to go. You know, are you halfway through? Are you quarter way through? All that kind of stuff. Now we're about to go to some recorded shows, pre-recorded shows. Just to give you an indication. Now, now the system is huge. You know, a thousand gigabytes is going to hold a lot of TV. It works out to be about a gigabyte per half hour. So, theoretically, you know, you can hold about 500 hours of TV onto the system. You can also set it up so it deletes old shows that are of a certain date. Now, watch this. I've just hit the remote twice, and boom. Here we are. Fifth gear. So, it, um, once recorded, it's very easy to just to get rid of the adverts. Uh, in future releases, we're even going to be offering a piece of software called Comscript, which actually literally removes the adverts automatically for you using certain algorithms where it's able to detect an advert from a TV show. You can set sensitivity and all that. Uh, this hasn't came to New Zealand yet because of our HD format, H.264, that we use. And... Uh, the programmer is struggling a little to get the software to adapt to this, this MPEG-4 format. Here we've flipped to a free view channel. Now, once again, I'd love to stress how beautiful this is, but it is, it is stunning. It is stunning. Uh, on top of the free view, though, or even the standard definition TV shows have processes applied to them to make them sharper, appear brighter, appear more clean, noise reduction, and all sorts of other aspects are thrown in there. Uh, also worth noting, you do have teletext. <laughs> Not that, I think. Uh, you know, you don't really need for a system like this, though. Uh, it's also worth noting that the system can record, you know, up to an almost an infinite number of channels at the same time, depending on your setup. Uh, this current setup I'm demonstrating right now is able to do more than eight channels. Well, in between two, two infinite channels, I should say. Basically, it can record as many of the one provider for instance, TVNZ, so you can record all the TVNZ channels and all the uh, other network, I can't remember what it's called, at the same time. But because there's three networks in New Zealand that are providing Freeview HD, you can only record as many of any two networks. Uh, though, if you wanted to do more, you could easily just throw on a second card, and theoretically you could record literally every Freeview HD, and also you can record this video at the same time as well, as the analog card is in the system for Prime. Uh, there's probably a thousand things I've also managed to forget to record. These kind of voice overdubs slash demonstration videos are not as easy as I would have liked to have first told myself. So yeah, it's pretty amazing.